Hello once again watchers of good movies, my name is Nick Pell and this is my review of Bloodshot. Now this is a 2020 adaptation of Valiant Comics comic book character of the same name Bloodshot. I don't know what it means or references but I'm assuming it's the superhero name that he's eventually given. It's not talked about or mentioned the word of anywhere in this movie so I don't know. It stars Vin Diesel as the main character and the main general setup of this film is that he is killed alongside his wife tragically during their vacation and he is brought back to life using experimental technology using these microbots of sorts uh, which are embedded into his um, bloodstream and they just allow for instant uh, cellular regeneration essentially so he if he gets a cut on his hand just instant regeneration more or less now, the special effects in this film i thought looked really good honestly um from vin diesel's cellular regeneration stuff i thought that looked all really cool to see on screen especially the more and more beat up he ends up getting you just get to see it all kind of slow down a little bit and just kind of get to get an idea of what's going on as this whole process is happening the, also the fight scene choreography uh also looked really cool uh while it is a lot of cgi special effects stuff um, there is some more generic fight stuff which happens with more hand-to-hand -hand combat traditional stuff uh, I thought that all looked really cool um, and uh, just the end fight scene as well looked really neat all the stuff in this film looked cool uh, so I gotta give it that props as well and this is an origin story so you can't really expect a ton I've read that uh, Valiant um, or I guess Vin Diesel maybe, uh, wants to pot uh, potentially set up some sort of expanded universe uh, similar to what the MCU has do been doing and uh, DC had tried to do. Um, so who knows if it's going to succeed, especially with the coronavirus causing people to not go to movies right now. But as an origin story, it, it works decently well. Um, I had a fun time with it. I had no real major issues aside from a couple things. Uh, there's some slow-mo used and the first time it was used it seemed kind of over the top and not really needed but when it was used uh towards the end of the film i thought that worked fine um i had no real issues and i thought that it kind of heightened the the fight scene and kind of made it feel like a video game almost um so that was kind of a cool thing i also felt like the trailer maybe showed too much i kind of wish that they had left it a little bit more of a mystery as to what was actually happening in the movie because the first 20 minutes is essentially that whole setup that i talked about where he's kind of woken up after being killed and he's like oh hey you have regeneration powers now so uh and then there's a twist with the people who revived him and things of that sort and that's all shown in the trailer pretty much um and so i kind of wish that that had been left in the dark um for me who knows nothing about this person or this franchise whatsoever going into it it would have made for a really cool twist and reveal and made me maybe uh enjoy the setup portion of this film a little bit more because i kind of knew all that was going to happen until it got past that point so uh besides that like i said it's a fun time i'd say check it out if you feel like going to a movie this weekend or in the next four weeks because there's nothing else coming out um i say check it out it's worth your time and i thought it was, a, it was a good movie and i'd see a sequel if it does make one so uh those are my thoughts on bloodshot let me know yours in the comments down below did you like it as much as i did did you hate it more than i did let me know uh what is your favorite upcoming superhero film why not who knows if we'll see any more this year <laughs> uh let me know your thoughts in the comments down below uh like favorite comment and subscribe once again if you still choose i appreciate it immensely and as always my people my name is nick Powell. and once again keep on watching